described as a wealthy local attorney and major contributor to the mayoral campaign of Alderman Hughes, William Sharp runs the West Side Rollers with his nephew, Joseph Price. He is also the gang's financier, who at the time of Saints Row is overseeing preparations for a deal between the Rollers and some overseas buyers. So we're finally hitting that convoy, huh? I don't know what you're talking about, Donnie. Well, sure, you... I don't know what you're talking about, Donnie. Oh, right. Just sit tight. Price should be back soon. As stimulating as this conversation is, I'm afraid I need to make some calls. As Lynn works undercover within the West Side Rollers, she concocts a plan alongside the player that will allow her to infiltrate the gang further. After the latter performs a raid on the garage, Lynn appears and saves the garage owner and Rollers mechanic Donnie, who is close friends with Joseph Price. The plan is successful and Donnie believes that Lynn genuinely saved his life and gratefully takes her to meet Price and William Sharp. Come on, Uncle Will, he's not that- What's up, Price? You scared the shit out of me, Donnie. I scared the shit out of me. Donnie, it's always a pleasure when you bring strangers into my house. Oh, fuck, I forgot. This is- I'm Lynn. She totally saved my ass, Mr. Sharp. She's a hell of a driver. I'm the best racer that ever came out of Chinatown. How come I've never heard of you? Because I got tits. Is that what you call those? <laughs> Suppose I deserved that. At Bryce's mansion, after some brief introductions and despite Sharp's insistence to keep quiet in front of Lynn, Donnie lets slip that the West Side Rollers plan to hit a convoy for parts. Then secretly relates the information to the player, who in turn protects the convoy from the rollers. Sharp later notes that he is surprised to learn that the convoy got away and admonishes Donnie with having another conversation when Donnie again lets slip in front of Lynn that the rollers plan to do a deal with the buyers, a bunch of guys overseas that Mr. Sharp knows regarding stolen car parts. All got away. That's what the word is. How did this happen? A crew from Saints Row fucked up our boys. Who? Same guys who fucked up my shop. I think they're the Fifth Street altar boys. The Third Street Saints. Mm, what she said. Will you stop smoking that shit? I need you to focus. If you need me to focus, I'd pass that shit back. <coughs> Donnie. All right, all right. You got some time before the buyers need those parts, right? The buyers? Oh, there are a bunch of guys overseas that Mr. Sharp knows. Donnie, do we have to have another conversation? Sorry. Don't worry about it. Just think. Give me some time. In a conversation with his nephew, Sharp okay. states that his concerns over Donnie and Lynn, stating that he won't let the Nimrod ruin his plans. When Donnie comes up with the new plan to scavenge car parts from local cars throughout the neighborhood, Sharp criticizes his inability to think outside the box and is threatened by Lynn, who defends Donnie. Your plan is to go steal cars. You really know how to think outside the box, Donnie. Don't talk to him like that. I'll take your advice to heart. It's not advice. A threat? Huh. How refreshing. Listen up, you old Lynn, d d don't, don't worry about it. Shut, Shut up, up Donnie. Donnie. When the new plan is also thwarted by the player, Sharp concludes that Lynn has been betraying the rollers as only her, Donnie Price, and Sharp knew the other two plans obtaining the parts, and promises Price that he will deal with her. Price asks that while he doesn't care what Sharp does to Lynn, he doesn't want him hurting Donnie. That was productive. That's the second time the Saints fucked us! Three times, if you count the attack on the garage. Quite a coincidence. What do you mean? Well, let's think. The same four people knew about those jobs. If I didn't sell us out, and you didn't sell us out, who else is there? Donnie? Donnie may not like it when things get messy, but there's no way he'd turn on me. Which brings us to... Lynn. Bravo. This is gonna be a bitch to explain to Donnie. Luckily, you're not going to. What do you mean? Please, you're too attached to the boy. I'll handle this. I don't give a shit what you do to Lynn, but you better not hurt Donnie. Of course, Joseph. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Sharp captures Lynn and ties her to a chair. Using her as bait for a trap, he forces her to call the player and has him to agree to meet her at the pool hall. 
at the pool hall, the player fights through the rollers to the second floor, but is knocked unconscious while attempting to untie and rescue Lin to- Sounds like the cops are coming, Mr. Sharp. Let's take our guest for a ride, shall we? Sharp imprisons the two inside the trunk of Lin's voxel and reveals them before Donnie at the Stillwater River. When Lin tries to explain herself to Donnie, Sharp treats her with a 44 Shepherd and explains to him her betrayal, prompting Donnie to flee. Lin? Donnie, listen to me! I swear to God! Lin! Take a deep breath and count to ten, Donnie. Count to ten?! You just shot my girl! Yes, it's tragic. Could you give me a hand here? Why did... Why did you... Lynn was working with the Saints. Now, would you give me a hand? This car is heavy. Donnie, where are you going? Sharp then closes the trunk and begrudgingly pushes the vehicle into the river alone, killing Lynn. The player manages to escape through the use of Lynn's lighter and avenger death by killing Sharp and his vehicle during car chase throughout the city. Price uses his uncle's death as one of many reasons to inspire his gang to burn down Saints Row. In a new cast, Jack Armstrong states that his car was found wrapped around a tree in the northern district and Sharp was pronounced dead at the scene, and that no other vehicles were involved in the accident and no other details have been released in the case. And so ends the story of William Price. On the next video, we're going to look into his nephew, Joseph Price, and see his humble beginnings, which are really not humble because he's a meathead, and see what led up to the events to his death and the destruction of the West Side Road. That was a hell of an explosion. You okay, player? I got run over by a motherfucking truck, what'd you think? Oh, quit being a bitch. We didn't fuck the rollers hard. They ain't got nothing left. There are a few loose ends, though. Like, who the fuck those buyers are Sharp was talking about? I got a feeling some shit going on we don't know about. I'll catch you later at the church. <laughs>